Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Spartan Gaming here, and we are here today with Mr. F and Husa 57, and we are here today on the Halo Wars 2 beta, and we're gonna go ahead and do some shenanigans and play some TDM and try and take these guys out. Um, I guess we'll see how it goes. And it's F and Husa 57 here. Hopefully, this waiting for players won't take too long, but. Other than that, I'm doing pretty good. And yourself, Spartan? Uh, I thought you lagged out because it took you a second. I was like, I was like, <laughs> I stopped talking. And it was like that little two-second pause. I was like, did FN just die? <laughs> it's good. It's good. We're all good here. <laughs> no, but this loading time might kill me. So um, I guess this would be a good time to mention that uh, since this is still in beta, the loading times and stability of the game are atrocious at some points so hopefully this will go well fingers crossed i mean we randomly win or lose it's happened so also this video could be 10 minutes 20 minutes or it could be an hour i don't know i'm gonna hope for like 30 minutes though yeah 30 minutes would be a pretty fair time also should mention uh we will be doing this video co-op so we'll be a little bit more focused on uh team speak than necessarily a commentary It'll be an interesting combination we'll have to see how it goes i don't know i have a feeling one of the enemy team might lag out hey and make it easier <laughs> man this is i mean that's taking its time huh <laughs> Oh, yes. Most definitely. All right, well, what I'm pretty much going to do is... Right yes! Now, it started up right as I went to go uh, talk about my strategy, which was kind of perfect. I'm going to get these supply pads and Jenny go on ASAP, and I got the weird spot again. Damn it! <laughs> Every time I don't want this spot, it gives me this spot. I like the other one better. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try and get these two fire bases going. ASAP, as well as the mini bases. Hella supplies. Hella, Generator hella supplies. And I am desperately going to try and get this fire base up and running. Yeah, see, I'm used to playing it from this little cozy spot right here. And this is the side that I'm not used to playing on, so... Right yeah. Yeah. I went with a little bit different strategy than normal. I'm keeping all basically supply pads and generators in the back. So we'll see if that strategy pays off. I need 500 supplies though. All right, sweet. All right, working on my uh, little energy pad thing. Node. And these supplies get harvested up pretty quick. The little ones that you can collect in the world another Jenny going perfecto supply pad actually have this. enough perfect I've already got a supply pad upgraded and I'm taking you little shits well almost ready to take this uh, little oh. fire base up here and then I'm gonna go for the energy thing right to my left supply pad upgrade complete all right, fire base is coming in, and I'm working on taking this energy. Got him. Sweet. I want you to go ahead, go over here so I can get my other mini base. Perfect. Look these supplies while you're standing there. And you, go get me my fire base. Let's get this fire base up and running. So if these guys aren't doing anything, I'm going to order them back here and take that mini base. Let's see how close. tried to send us squad of marines over to uh, get the power node from Generator me. Constructed. Damn. All right, I got one power node for us. I really want that two-slot mini base. That's the other benefit of having that side is you get the two-slot. Yeah, it does seem like certain sides are a little bit unbalanced. Like, some more so than others. I don't know. That's just my opinion at the moment. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and put in the supply pad and also get this yeah, okay. barracks going. Sweet, fire base is here. Because I will be using that sniper strategy. Are you? All right. Make sure to post them around me, bud. <laughs> supply pad constructed. Sweet. Uh, so my pretty much initial strategy, if you haven't noticed so far, is bombard the shit out of supplies. And once I get hella supplies, um, that's when, you know, military starts hitting the fan. Yep, I gotta make sure that I move in units just to be careful, because this side does get a little bit contested every once in a while, that is. I'm actually Let's gonna. Move, uh, squad I'm squad capturing squad. this second energy node, so we'll have a little more power on our side here. Does this go to the both of us? Fire I thought the energy nodes went to both of us. I could be mistaken, I though. Idea. I could also Back. be mistaken. I really have no idea. Back at my main base, we will be working on upgrading some of these supply pads and stuff the mini base out of the way sweet yeah see oh, right shit. now i actually have more energy than uh supplies oh wow i got flamethrowers on me now what oh damn shittery this dude just bombarded me like early af okay get this upgraded i need to build some sort of unit to combat that like asap yep i am in the process of building several snipers yeah i'm definitely gonna need those snipers assistance because that is a lot of fucking that was a lot of flamethrowers like that was not a couple like that was like four or five squads of them oh wow that is a lot of flamethrowers yeah i know he just straight up was like nah i'm gonna go ahead and get flamethrowers now i don't like your opinions okay all right well Sorry. of course my uh first couple snipers i'm gonna garrison in the towers closest to me just to avoid uh them trying to garrison the towers with the enemy's units because you know that wouldn't be very nice of them But I will send some snipers your way here in just a minute. Yep, they're at the power node. I'm going to ignore them. Um, hopefully I can get a vulture up pretty early. That's what I'm going to go for. Is just build a quick vulture and send them over. Supply pad constructed. Oh, come on. There we go. Air pad. Oh, I didn't build anything at that base. What a total waste of space. Waste of space and a waste of time. I know. Terrible. Reactor upgrade complete. Uh, yeah, let's get that while we're at it. It takes so many snipers, though, to garrison all structures. It's crazy. Supply pad constructed. Okay. Oh, shit. It takes three of them. Uh, well, I can get level three. Let's hurry up and get level three. And I'm also gonna get the first infantry upgrade. Yep, that's what I did. It's just completed. Perfect, perfect. Just because that infantry upgrade will be pretty nice. I'm starting to roll in supplies a little bit quicker now. Yeah, I'm not focusing too hard on it right now just because of the fact that I've got that asshole right there and it's kind of making me not happy. 
to say the least. No, I'm just making sure that uh, I don't get behind here. You know, got to make sure that I've got these structures garrisoned properly. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and try and upgrade all my power generators because I'm lacking on the power side. And I'm going to completely ignore air units and let you handle those. Yep. Oh, watch out. There they are. They're going after your power. They're going after your base. Oh, your snipers are saying, fuck you. Oh, yeah. They're going after my garrison spot. Well, that actually, that is perfectly fine because I am going to learn the first Mac cannon and the turret drop ability. But they took out my sniper. Of course they did. Yeah, just when uh, we're trying to get them. Ah, they have flamethrower yeah. units. This guy loves the flamethrower. Like, man, he loves it. Come on. Like that maxed out uh, heal. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, wow. Wow. Flamethrowers are brutal. Wow. Infantry, but not so much on the vultures. To my structure, those flamethrowers are brutal. The enemy has one of our Damn. Oh, you fucking... He had a Spartan. What? Okay, that's the first time I've seen a Spartan hijack a vulture. Damn. Hijack anything. Uh, that's not cool. Alright, we need to go ahead and get some shit going down. Those flamethrowers, man. Holy hell. I can tell this guy is not, uh, not playing around. He's going for the early bird. Yeah, all I had uh, defending that little two slot base was a couple snipers i didn't think he'd be over there quite that quickly but holy fuck actually i'm probably gonna hold off until i get a couple more turret constructed we'll send him over there though let's see if i can't get this structure re-garrisoned at least probably trying to take over that base is he yeah he did yep he took it over and he is definitely trying to now take the power node over he has a vulture of his own wow that's spartan that's my vulture that he took over with his spartan that is seriously seriously uncool yeah Well, we'll have another sniper building there. Uh, Marines got the grenade throw ability, and I've got turrets up and running. That's probably for the best. <laughs> Commander power ready. Oh, he just placed some landmines. Alright, well, it's going to be a fight to get that power node back, that's for sure. Oh, definitely. I got the one back over on my side, though. If it's any consolation. I'm going to crank out a few more units, but now I'm starting to fall behind a bit on that uh, power. power, of unfortunately. So I'm going to make a small push for that energy node. Power. Sweet combat reinforcements. Let's go ahead and get that upgrade. That vulture is definitely no joke, though. That's for sure. Yep, I think that vulture is actually going to win against me. Yeah, yeah, because he took over your vulture. I'm uh, kind of screwed, so we're going to back off there. Alright, I'm on my way. 
I can't do anything against that vulture, not with a, a warthog and a couple snipers. No, we're, yeah, vultures are pretty solid. Vultures are a tad overpowered when you take them over. Uh, so, yeah. Let's go ahead and get <laughs> a fighting chance okay. against that thing. Don't worry. It's okay. Just, just, just look. <laughs> oh my! You've got a few vultures coming in. <laughs> Hell yeah. Let's go ahead and send my snipers back in. I'm going to pull uh, one of my snipers and send him back to garrison this structure again. Just because they get that range bonus. Here we go. Get him. Ordering this. Oh, I don't even have marines to capture this post here. Damn, that sucks. Alright, well, not going to worry too much about that then since I don't have marines to do it. Well, I do have that one cluster right there. Send those marines over there to try and start working on that base. Let me send some also. marines in to attack there. Okay. I'll leave the uh, marines there for you to uh, pick up that base in five seconds. Oh, you got your own there. Okay. Either way, I don't really want those squads of marines, so I'm actually going to send them to take over that power node again. Yep. All right. So we will be taking back our base. Get it back. And I need to send these snipers out and make sure they're garrisoned in the structures. Because it is actually really overpowered to have these snipers garrisoned up in the structures. Um, assuming that, you know, you actually have... And there's like a giant fleet of vultures right outside my base. Awesome. Upgrading vehicles. You know what? I probably should get a Spartan. So we'll get an armory in place. That's what I just did. Just got my Spartan. You actually already have an armory, if you didn't know. Yeah, I noticed that. That's okay. I can <laughs> unlock the sure. powers twice as quick now, so why not? Pulling back these snipers. Because I think that structure needs garrison still. Armory. Yeah, because I can have each armory learning something new. No. Oh. Can unlock that powers twice as quick. Level two there we go. Come on, sniper, you are get so another slow. Another supply pad rolling, and we will get. Actually, let me get these vultures over here, and let's go see if All I right. get another. Now I got one supply point to go. Right I'll do this second turret. Advanced logistics research. Perfect. All right, got closed air support. Nice, you're a ways ahead of me on that. But my Marines already have rocket launchers, so it's a bonus. All right, let's see, where are some garrisonable structures? There's one over by your base. Go ahead and get a sniper on his way over there. And my oh, barracks, I'm actually gonna easier. get Upgrade. I'm going to work on the upgrade for the snipers in the barracks. And we're going to learn vehicle three. Oh, how I love vultures. Working on uh, up in my build time with those double armories. Oh, nice. Okay, well, let's head back over to the main base, and I will will do the same. Keep working on that. Advanced logistics. Reactor upgrade complete. And I'm not going to bother with the combat tech. 
we are really expanding towards him. Oh yes, he's going to be getting frightened soon. I'm just looking for any other structures that are garrisonable. Ah, there is one more over by your base. Yep, there's one right over here. Doesn't have one. Oh, I just got myself a two slot mini base. And you know what? The middle. We might as well go ahead and get a Spartan. I mean, why not? Yeah, see, I just cranked out another sniper in like a matter of a few seconds. By getting that shit built with the double armories. Alright, we're taking the, uh... The very center power node. Awesome. get ourselves some supplies rolling. I might as well take this fire base over here, prevent him from doing so. I think I'm actually going to do a forward air pad this time. I've never done this before, but shit hits the fan and we'll have uh, air pads ready. And I do like fans. Set our valley point right there. Alright, you get that? Golden. And my snipers now have the upgrade for them, so they do even more damage. I'm actually going to send a, uh, a warthog to go do some scouting. I got all my supply pads upgraded. My vehicles upgrade to level 3 already. Yep, same here. Perfect. My Spartan's getting a Spartan laser. Awesome. And fortify level 1. Let's move the Spartan forward a bit. Send, get him stationed over here with a group of Marines. All right, I'm gonna go do a bit of scouting with my Warthog, and we'll go see what he's up to. Probably quaking in his boots, I would say. Wow, he actually doesn't have that forward fire base. Surprisingly enough. The forward fire base that's actually right next to him. I'm actually going to get a couple turrets placed at my back base just for safety's sake in case he is building an army. Let's drive over here and check this out. So I got one of his old buddy's base. No. Is he Maybe he has this one. I'm gonna save his old main base for last. I don't know what this guy is doing, but I will be more than happy to uh, alleviate wow, some of his units. He only has his only. Okay, English Spartan. Um, yeah, it looks like he might only have his uh his original base. Damn. Well, we are going to spread out and invade his territory. I don't really need to worry about building snipers all that much at this point because I have most of the structures garrisoned with snipers. Whoa! Alright, he's definitely at his main base. Did you just find an army? Yeah. I'm talking that warthog lived for approximately 0.5 seconds. Damn. I don't All know right. What it was, but he killed it quick. <laughs> Supply pad constructed. Well, I like warthogs, so we are gonna work on some warthogs, and I'm gonna throw a couple wolverines in the mix. Wolverine ready for order. All right, building up the army. Generator constructed. Yeah, see, I'm cranking out these units pretty quick. And might as well heal up the units here. Yes, Roger. You got it. Does the Spartan not regain, regain health? Yeah, he's... Regen and regain at the same time. I don't know. He's being a bit weird. My Spartan does not want to regen his health from when I uh, did the yeah. upgrade. I, I put the, the med drones down and it didn't do shit, surprisingly. 
um, glitch? Question mark. Uh, maybe. Don't know. All right, where's my marines? So. There they are. Let's go ahead and get a couple towers built. Just because I don't trust this guy, he might not have a lot of forces, but I'm sure oh, he's man. got something somewhere. I, I'm sure he has uh, anti-air. There's no way. He's got to have some sort of anti-air. Well, that is totally perfectly fine, because I don't use air units. Company. It's okay, I got some tanks too. My typical strategy. And all I can see over at his main base is one anti-air turret. Yeah, that, you can see how quickly the Warhog died and get to see much. Nope, did not get to see much at all. That's all right. I'm going to go with this close air support, get that unlocked, and also Mac Blast level 2. And that's actually where I'm at right now. I'm at Mac Blast 2, Med uh, Full, and uh, close air support. Same over here, buddy. And then I feel like sending a force... Um to his base. Oh, he actually got the other fire base. Okay. So he expanded slightly. Alright, well I plan on attacking that slightly expanded base before he gets turrets up. I'm currently sending in a few units. Five Goss Warthogs, my Spartan, a group of Marines, and three Wolverines, just in case he has any air support. It looks like he has snipers and something to, that hits hard, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with some snipers and some tanks. I got my main army ready when you are, but I'm just going to go ahead and sit back and uh, watch your army. Yeah, I don't particularly care about losing this force because I've got regular marines with it, and you know, sadly you can go only up to this 80 unit capacity, which I don't particularly like all that much. Yeah. Uh, so far... Is, uh... First no base. air support. Yeah, I'm going for his little mini base that he just okay. took. And he's got no air support here. He's got no units here at all for some reason. I have my eyes on wow. Um, okay. Lame defense Drive him much? Up to the main base first. <laughs> Drive him up to the main base. Uh, let's go see if he's got anything up here. Uh, this is going to be kind of depressing if I don't even build a tank. I got my units on standby, so it's alright. Well, I mean, I've only got five Goss Warthogs. It's not that large of a force. Oh, wow. Oh, oh he just hit me with a Mac Blast. Artillery. That's artillery. Oh, mines. He's got mines. Oh! We'll pull the Spartan back. Close air support. Oh yeah, he's definitely got the close air support. The tanks, the Wolverines. He's got a lot of stuff over here. Uh, yeah, why not? You know what? Close air support, go for it. Eliminate his base. My precious pelicans of doom. Um... Okay, yeah, uh, close air support, bit overpowered, much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm also gonna use a Mac Blast on him. Why? Because I can. And just in case that didn't do the trick, I'm gonna drop a turret right out in front of his base somewhere. He's got anti-air out the ass. That's what it was. I was gonna say something destroyed every last, <clears throat> as I was every last one of my vultures. Yep, he's all anti-air. Like he must have seen your vultures early on, and he's like, "Fuck that shit! Oh. Victory!" No, no, my turret was still sitting there pummeling his base, and he couldn't get any units out fast enough. Well, no, it, it still takes 60 seconds after his base destroys. <clears throat> oh. Well, then he gave up. Oh, well, I'll take that win. That was uh, that was pretty fun. Some good content right there. 
Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it was a really easy match, but it was still pretty good. Well, that's kind of the way these right. matches go, you know. Either really easy or really damn difficult, or you get disconnected. Yeah, that's, that, to be honest, that's probably the exactly, like, you couldn't have said it better. I think that was pretty fun. I'm going to go ahead and call it, and hopefully you all enjoyed. Yep. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, comment, and don't forget to check out his channel and subscribe to his as well. And definitely subscribe to Spartan's channel. Anyways, basically, if you want to see the other person's point of view, check out the opposite channel. Thanks for watching.